It usually takes most students a couple of semesters to adjust to college life and determine their best course load. Quite often, new students take on more work than they can handle. Most of them do not consider other activities they have in their life when scheduling their classes. How much time should you devote to college? Some first-time students seriously underestimate the amount of time that is needed to prepare for a class, study for tests, and complete assignments. Unfortunately, they often realize their error when assignment is due or a test is given. A common formula for calculating the amount of study time is to multiply the number of credit hours for the course by three. For example, a demanding course like English Comp 1 that carries three credit hours and meets three times per week for one hour each time will require nine hours per week of out-of-class work. These nine hours plus the three hours in class means that you'll spend a total of 12 hours studying and attending the one class per week. Multiply 12 hours by four classes and you'll have a 48-hour college work week. Add 40 hours of work for a job and you'll be spending 88 hours per week working on your job and your classes. Five important time management skills for students. The ability to say no. Overnight trip on Saturday. Quick pizza with your roommates that turns into three hours of just hanging out. Learning to say no can often feel near impossible during your time in college, but saying yes to everything can often be impossible too. Learning how to say no is difficult, but important for good time management. Spacing things out. Translation, don't procrastinate. Do you have a midterm, paper, lab report, or research project due in, say, one month? Don't wait until the last week to get started. Space things out a bit so you manage your time and workload in a steady flow instead of one gigantic wave. Using social time wisely. College is amazing because there's always something fun going on that you want to be a part of. Unfortunately, college is also incredibly challenging for this exact same reason. Instead of feeling like you're missing out on something whenever you try and do your homework or work on your on-campus job, remind yourself there will be something fun to go and do once you're done. And then you won't have to feel guilty about enjoying yourself since you'll be all caught up. Prioritizing and reprioritizing constantly. No matter how on top of things you are, Life just happens sometimes, which means, of course, that you'll get sick, your computer will crash, your roommate will have some kind of drama, and you'll lose your cell phone. Good time management often requires the ability to prioritize and reprioritize and reprioritize again as things come up. And having good time management skills also means that when things shift around, you'll be able to deal with it instead of suddenly finding yourself in a crisis. Keeping your health, sleep, and exercise in check. Sure, you have about 25 hours worth of work to do each day, and that doesn't count the time required to sleep, eat, and exercise. Yet filling in those three little things can really make all of the difference in your ability to manage your time well in school. Staying up a little too late here or there, maybe not eating a healthy dinner every night of the week, usually okay. Making those actions not just exceptions, but patterns in your college life? Bad idea. In order to stay on your game, you have to be physically and mentally able to play your game. Practicing a little self-care can go a really long way in making sure that you can take care of all you need to do with your limited time while in school.